I know I know this is uh, one in particular that uh, Nitro is uh, eager to discuss. Is everyone familiar with the entire Epic Games v. Apple lawsuit? And I, um, I just know that Epic Games yep. is very gross. <laughs> yep. For, for those, um, so for, I guess, those in, in stream that uh, aren't aware, um, Epic Games, the... Uh, the company behind Fortnite is having a bit of a, a little bit of a tussle with Apple because they broke their contract with Apple on their mobile platforms to uh, to allow players to purchase the in-game currency via a third-party websites, thus circumventing the 30% cuts that that they're con- that they are contractually obligated to get uh, via by using that platform, and so. Epic very explicitly broke it. So they had a whole PR plan going with a full-on uh, satire of uh, what was it, Apple's 1984 yeah. video mm-hmm. for the, for Macintosh. Yep. They kind of weaponized their very young fan base into being like, "Fuck Apple, you pieces of shit!" Like we're going against this monopoly, despite the fact that you knew the terms when you signed the contract, and you're already a super crazy huge company. I and mean, so it just kind of reads his greed. I mean, I I don't necessarily agree with the the initial Apple stuff either. I think that maybe you know, since it is a, a since their platforms are a bit of a walled garden, I think it might be a little little much. Um, well, what's funny is that um, Microsoft was also having issues with Apple because Apple's not mm-hmm. allowing Game Pass on their platform. <laughs> And um, yeah, so Microsoft has so Microsoft has that incentive for backing uh, Epic's case, but at the same time, Xbox does the exact same fucking so, thing on their console. Like every game that's sold mm-hmm. on Xbox, they get a percentage from developers. Well, yeah, but I mean, but like you know, like like let's not forget like the fact that the same thing this how also happened on the Google Play Store the exact same day, but it's not that big of a deal because you can just download Fortnite anyway, because it's because it's the Android. You can just you can just do that. On on Apple, you you have to go through the App Store. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I don't mm-hmm. think that necessarily changes my my stance on it. No, but I mean, like you know, one of the things that Epic has been doing has been, you know, been. Not I, I don't want to say fighting because that implies a uh, um some sort of like valor to what they're doing when you know it's just it's it's a business doing a business, right? Um, Corporations you know, going to corporate. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but they've been, um, you know, pushing for um, lower... Like, one of the reasons why the Epic Game Store has been doing what it's doing is because it's, it's 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 trying to convince, like, other retailers, like like Steam, to lower their cut um, from from games. I think that's like, all uh, fine and, and dandy, like, mm-hmm. in, uh, I think later on in the story. Uh, Apple had recently... Um, they, they've decreased the uh, payment processing mm-hmm. fees from 30 I believe, to 15 yep. for small um, developers that don't make a million dollars a year. So, in effect, like, that. yes, that, that's a good that's a good move for smaller developers. <laughs> but as far as, like, Epic itself, I'm just like, I, I, I see what that posturing has achieved in that sense. Mm. But it, it still just screams of, like, a corporation just, just wants more money. And I'm just like, Ep- I don't care. Yeah. The well, yeah, is- but you you but you are arguing. Oh, this corporation wants more money. No, this corporation wants more money. You know. I am loyal to my <laughs> corporate overlords. <laughs> <laughs> Never well to the chat. But yeah, that, that's the thing that people are are forgetting here. Epic is doing this primarily to benefit itself. Yes. Uh, and anything positive that happens is a byproduct of that. And I'm saying I'm not a fan of Apple. I'm not any kind of white knight for Apple here. They have plenty of their own issues we can talk about. And I think the way that Epic has handled this especially has been tasteless, to put it very mildly. I think in a year, in the year 2020, where authoritarianism is a very serious issue, uh, portraying your struggle as being like equivalent with Orwellian, even if it was a parody of Apple's ad, is a little tasteless at the very best. It, it's full on propaganda. And like, especially yeah. with their, mm-hmm. with their player base who, who don't know what the fuck 1984 is, who they don't know that what the point of, uh, that they original Apple alive. commercial was. They weren't alive when it and came out. You know what? It's not just the fact. 
It's they not had that, it either, yeah. either, but they had that hashtag ready to go too, like in the yeah. video. Yeah, because they knew it was gonna happen. They knew it was gonna happen. It was ready the the day that um Fortnite got taken off. Like this was all planned. This what this didn't yeah. come out like a week later. This was the same day. Yeah. And you know, it's not just the fact that Epic has what basically has basically openly weaponized a he tried to weaponize a huge audience of very young fans into a private army. It's the fact that, and we've had discussions like this in mm. we in SDGC all the time. Game publishers have been accused of being very silent as their most loyal fans have attacked critics, have attacked people who have criticized the games, mm. uh, and and Epic now has basically just come out and admitted it that yeah we're ha we're happy to take advantage of our own fandom mm. and basically weaponize them. And to me, I think the worst part about this is that none of this is going to have any impact on the lawsuit. Mm -hmm. All of this posturing and riling their fan base up into a hyena-like frenzy, it's not going to matter because everything is going to be decided in a series of courtrooms far away from all of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, th this whole Absolutely. situation is just such a giant so, mess, and I, I feel no no empathy or sympathy for either party, just mm -hmm. as, as much as like of a headache that Epic has mm -hmm. given me for this. Though, I, I, um, I don't want to um, be like shielding Apple, just like, no, don't do anything bad to Apple. It's just like, yeah, I, I think just Epic is, mm. yeah, it, it's in, a headache. In favor of, you know, Epic's argument, I must admit, it is a little unfair that, you know, Hulu, Netflix, Amazon Prime, all of these companies, you pay outside of Apple, outside of their service. Apple doesn't get a cut. However, those apps are just fine on the App Store. That is also true. Yeah. It's it's just it's, so in that sense it is arbitrary where they do draw mm -hmm. that line. I'm not I'm not too sure I, I, about like the the deals are economic, like like you can say like even on your Xbox. I don't trust does the motivation. Xbox, does Xbox like get any profits whatsoever whatsoever from like Netflix being on there? Yeah. Hell yeah. However, the selfish motivations I do actually do agree with uh, most of Epic's uh, assertions um, about you know uh, that. That, I, that the app store is unfair and i think that that move that apple did to to bring down the price of 15 percent is a, such a such a humongous step at least in my pers my perspective that like if, if that if that's all that comes out of this then this was positive this, this was great for what it's worth i think you're absolutely right and that like yeah the the status quo on apple is unfair but mm -hmm. uh i i guess i'm still just by the stance of like you can think it's unfair, but if you go into that contract accepting that, you can't cry foul and then break it and then wonder why bad things are happening to you when you consciously broke the contract that you went into. I'm fine well, just... with with Epic fighting Apple to like lower the price of how much Apple gets. I'm not okay with them weaponizing children to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Well, I think there's uh, one part we can all agree on. Uh, during a conversation hosted by the New York Times uh, Dealbook Summit, Epic Games CEO Tim Sweeney commented on the company's ongoing lawsuit against Apple, stating that accepting the 30% payment processing fees is the same as colluding with Apple to restrain competition, but the uh, bigger headache comes on from... Uh, Sweeney went on to equate his already astronomically successful company struggles as parallel to the civil rights movement stating no! and there and, and, let me just restate that for those that didn't hear he uh, equated epic's whole struggle with apple as a uh, parallel to the civil rights movement you know that that big old thing mm -hmm. that was trying to uh exactly. by any means necessary. create some yeah, equality exactly. he gets it he, he states uh, there were actual law or i'm sorry he says uh, and there were actual laws that were wrong, and people disobeyed them, and it was not wrong to disobey them, because to go along with them would be collusion to make them status quo. That's in uh, context of speaking against why the civil rights movement was justified, just because um, the laws were against people, it, it was not morally wrong to go against them because the laws were wrong. But j that is just such a bad fucking that that is such a blatantly stupid putting mm -hmm. your foot in your mouth statement yeah. like, uh, it is. And, mm -hmm. yeah and then he, then he did an established and, legal tactic sorry yeah go, go ahead i was gonna say that's an established legal tactic of breaking your contract and then arguing that the contract shouldn't have been this in the first place that's where an established legal legal tactic so i don't yeah he's just it's dumb 
And he also, he did that Twitter thing where he said the thing, he got a huge amount of backlash for it, and then he started doubling down, basically saying, oh, I was taken out of context, which is now shorthand for, oh, you said something I don't like, so let me re- try to recontextualize the argument. He did that thing where he just started basically retweeting everyone who was agreeing with him. It's like, Tim, dude, you said something stupid, okay? It's it's fine. You can admit that. I I, I want to give him the benefit of the doubt because, like, I don't think he legitimately believes, like, these two are equivalent. But it is just such a stupid fucking thing to say. And, like, and especially when people are looking at your company just like, uh, you're being a little bit, bit, a bit of a greedy company there, like, regardless of of uh, people's different opinions on that like that, that mm-hmm. that's some of the perspective that people have and then you add this on top of it you're just like that that's not good dude yeah 